All right, welcome to episode 47 of Adventures and Inbetweening. Today we are looking at a show that many people haven't heard of. This is Re Cutie Honey. From 2004, this is uh, taken from the third OVA that was based on a live action film. <laughs> All right, I didn't do any editing here. This is all sequential scenes. I'll uh, we'll start out looking at the uh, empty space, the strong silhouette that we've got here. We actually just have a six frame cycle that is repeating over and over and over. Uh, and that goes for the background as well. The speed lines on screen left there is also on that six frame cycle. And I mean, this this gives us the same information four times a second. It's like, bup, 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 bup. And that could get really tiring quickly if we don't have interesting silhouette, interesting posing, interesting colors, shapes to look at. As if the character is engaging, we can get away with that for much longer. Now here we're starting close in. We don't really know what we're looking at. And then the two weapons come in. We have this great loose drawing style here. Now this is Honey Cutie fighting Black Claw, the final henchman before Sister Jill. Uh, Cutie is an android out for revenge for the death, death of her father. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, one of those stories. So here, I mean, we, we had that clashing close-up for 19 frames. Now we're going to the wide shot. Now we're alternating these <laughs> terrific shadows from this central light source cast on the wall here. And every frame is either shadow or effect, shadow or effect. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this kind of strobing uh, intentionally uh, effect. Now here we've got, uh, basically, it's just two drawings of the characters just panning away from each other. The weapons are staying in the exact same spot, and it's the highlights and the effects that are changing every frame that make it interesting. Now we go to the reverse shot, exact same thing. Just two drawings of the characters, and it's all the effects and the highlights and the lip sync that are doing the, the heavy lifting here. Now, Honey, uh, Cutie Honey anticipates forward a little bit, and we say, oh, does she got the advantage? And it's like, no, Black Claw is forcing her back. So she goes off screen there. Dark Claw is in control. Uh, all the cool fast action here, and we're using that as a transition to the next shot. So we've got this whoosh of the weapon here. Cutie Honey is going way off in perspective. There's a lot of extreme perspective in this show, and in this battle particularly. Now we've got some wonderful shapes here. Look at the silhouette here. This is just so extreme and so strong, and it's setting up what's about to come up with complete reversal and takeoff there. And we don't even know what we're seeing on screen left. It's almost like an abstract shape where the villain is looping around and then emerging from the abstract shapes. Again, this extreme perspective, terrific silhouette clarity with both characters. Here comes uh, the weapon from uh, Dark Claw, and here comes Honey Sword, boom, Black Claw, I should say, and clash together there. Look at, again, look at these amazing, wonderful shapes here. This is so engaging. Not what I was expecting to see with both characters and starting out really far apart and we've got everything close up to the screen and then boom, just comic book clarity. Now rotating around in one frame here, the effects are still carrying the day, everything's happening. Now we've got uh, Black Claw moving up towards Cutie Honey, wonderful shape change here. The swords are still crossed, they're staying in contact really strongly. Now we're going to the, again, the extreme perspective here. We're getting uh, Cutie Honey being pushed towards screen. Black Claw's off to off screen right there, off off screen. And now we get even just these, these single frames almost where it's just the emotion and we see the character's face. This all, when it plays though, it all makes sense. It all feels like it's continuous. And it, it, it just, it's selling the action really well, even though we have such drastic contrast between the individual frames. Again, tight silhouette here, no distracting background detail. One frame, boom completely reverse that line of action. The effects comes on. The second frame of effects, we don't even know what that is. It's just, it's so abstract. Here again, the stretching abstract or uh, extreme perspective, I should say, had that little heart on screen. Now we've got Dark Claw down on the ground there. Look at this wonderful animating background. So this is all not just one piece of background. This is all drawn individually on each frame. And the camera goes all the way into Dark Claw's face, face into just a few frames. Impact. Effects, uh, <laughs> another effect, pink on white now, sure. And now we're cutting, we're using that again as a transition to the next shot. 
keep everything moving. Extreme upshot here on the villain. And then Cutie Honey, now new weapon contact. We're not going to contact the two weapons the same way we did last time. And again, wonderful shapes here. Terrific, strong silhouettes. We actually have staggering between the frames. It's really extreme. Like they're going backwards and forwards, not in just a subtle way. Uh, spinning around here, and then one frame, Cutie Honey's foot comes in, a little bit of overlap on the nose there, completely intentional. And then we have this wonderful frame with a, the top half of the foot, a screen's covered by the foot, the bottom half is the face. Black Glob barely dodging there. There goes uh, Cutie Honey's foot off the screen right there. Now here comes her other foot around. It's all continuous action. Even though when we're watching it in real time, it's just And then we get this one frame here. Look how extreme we are close up to the face. Again, gonna go to this forced perspective here. Here comes the weapons. Still, sword contact is still continuing here. Everything, that we're not uh, abandoning any story points. Now look at the crazy impact on Cutie Honey here. This scene, a shot seven here, this is, the, this is the shot, the whole reason that I wanted to do this video, because it just gets so crazy and so nuts. Now you saw the shapes in Cutie Honey there, repeated in Dark Claw's hair, Black Claw. Uh, we've got the background moving in perspective. Look what's going on, Cutie Honey. Suddenly there's two Cutie Honeys. What's going on here? Why do we have this? Because we're going into this. Like, what is this? This just is not done in animation generally. It's like, so you have this character, so extremely sp spiraling around that she's actually going to change into a bunch of saucer-like shapes. And all this time, the background's moving, Black Claw's getting smaller, now Cutie Honey's starting to get back to normal. And then the, the one frame where she gets back to normal, we had all these curves, and now we have these straights. Curves versus straights is such a strong animation, artistic principle. And when you can have 100% curves followed by 100% straights on the next frame, that's just so effective, even if we don't know why while we're watching it. It has that visceral impact. And then boom, she hits the ground here, camera shake, everything's perspective going uh, forward there. Uh, you can see that uh, Black Claw is off in the background. Cutie Honey is flipping 180 degrees in one frame, continuing to flip around. Lots of shape change. Look at, again, look at this silhouette here. Uh, this is just the way that the legs and the sword is, are crossing. And then just as Cutie Honey is coming off screen, screen left, here comes Black Claw. Running, running, running. Look at the lack of detail on the character running here. This is just terrific. Uh, it's, it's just, and then so quickly, Black Claw reaches up to the screen here, just in no time. And then, even though that happens so fast, now we want to slow things down so we can see the expression, we can see the energy. Here comes the weapon down, extreme perspective, full screen. Now this is again covering up the transition between the shots. Now here, whenever you see thick lines like this, that generally means that we are going to be dollying out in any kind of 2D project. You can see that all the way back to, you know, Bugs Bunny cartoons. Camera shake up and down there. Debris, all we see is the results of the impact. We don't actually see the impact. And then we're going to pan the camera up really quickly. Stretched and distorted. Look at this, it's just such a strong pose. This is just a held cell and it's just panning against the background. And because that pose is so strong, you don't even need to animate it. Just that one frame is all you need. Uh, just a general, con uh, general principle. When you have great posing, you can do less animation. And now the, uh, the villain is like, what? And it makes the villain feel kind of defeated and not very smart that the audience already knows something that the villain doesn't know yet. Extreme perspective in the 10th shot here. Uh, Cutie Honey's looking calm, cool, and collected, but no. It's, 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 she's, she's a little bit of a goofy character. Now's the time for comedy. Just really play that up. Don't go too far with a look. Oh, look how strong it is. Like, whoa, a little bit out of control. Get some asymmetry. Now she's popping over to screen left here, kicking up the legs. Look at the, <laughs> again, the extreme perspective here on the screen left compared to screen right. Now she's flipping around. It looks like, oh, she might be back under control. And of course she's not. No, she's not under control at all. She's just being a goofball, and it's just, this animation is, I, I, <laughs> I only found it recently, and it was something that I didn't even know existed. It was done in 2004, uh, directed by uh, Hideki Anno and uh, Gainax and Toei, but it's got wonderful animation, wonderful creativity. Thanks. See you next time.